Just because celebrities are rich and famous doesn't mean that their love life is always like a Disney fairy tale. Hi, I'm Stacey Taylor and today I'm counting down the top 10 celebrity flirting fails that got rejected. So, which celebrity flirting fails did you find hilarious? And let us know in the comments below. Coming at number 10, we have Bella Thorne. So, Bella Thorne recently just said that she lost an acting job when she was just 10 years old after an unnamed casting director accused her of flirting with him. The 25 year old former Disney Channel and famous in love actress recounted the insane instant while on Emily Ratajkowski's podcast High Low with Emma Rata. Bella would say, I had a director give me feedback once when I was 10. The casting director calls my agent and the agent calls my mom and they're like, so she's not moving forward because the director felt like she was flirting with him and it made him feel really uncomfortable. Bella was then so confused. She was like, I was only 10 years old. Why would you ever think that? Emily would then reply by saying, also him feeling that is a real issue. Bella would then say, also, you're in a director session. You can't really say or do much. You do the scene, you say hello and you walk out. There's like no time to like, let me go sit on your lap and make you feel uncomfortable. The whole podcast of the show would just show the reality what it's like being a young woman in the industry and it's actually pretty concerning because Hollywood needs to do better. Number nine, Chris Rock. To her dating life, Rihanna certainly doesn't play easy to get and someone who can vouch for that would be comedian Chris Rock. The latter previously revealed that he was actually turned down by the Fenty Beauty entrepreneur after running into her at an industry party, where he made the move on Riri. According to the 57 year old actor, Rihanna had just shown little to no interest as he joked. As he joked, it may have had something to do with their age difference. Rock, who is 23 years older than the singer, so it's understandable why she wasn't going to entertain his moves on seeing whether she could be open to date him and the encounter was said to have been all kinds of awkward. While Chris was thinking, hey, I'm single now, let's give this a go. He really couldn't tell how old he was and now when he recalls the failed attempt to woo the singer, he says, she looks at me like I'm one of her aunts. She didn't even register me as a sexual being. I was in the uncle zone. Rock and Rihanna are still close friends and he was even caught supporting his pal during her Fenty runway show in New York back in 2016. But it truly leaves us to think, what exactly Exactly transpired on the night Rock tried to shoot his shot with the umbrella hitmaker. Number eight, Drake. Drake has always had a huge crush on Nicki Minaj, and you think after she's rejected him like a billion times, he would just take the hint and move on. In 2017, Drake would take home almost every single Billboard Music Award. But in one of his acceptance speeches, he would deliver a very sentimental speech by showing his love to many familiar faces in the crowd. The sweet moment, however, would definitely be stolen by Nicki Minaj who had possibly one of the greatest reactions ever when she screamed up at him during his speech and said, what about me? Drake would eventually turn the topic of his speech to her and I'm not gonna lie, it was actually pretty cute. Drake would say to Nicki Minaj, I'm so glad we found our way back because I love you and I could never, ever, ever see it any other way. Now, Nicki definitely did feel the love and while the two definitely have some sort of weird love going on for each other, Nicki has always found Drake more like a brother and she always rejects him every time he tries to stay step out of his friend zone lane. One time Drake even tried to set up a date with Nikki when he asked her, you want food, you hungry? She would reply by saying, yeah, I want food. When Drake finally went to her house with the food, she opened the door, took the food and shut the door in his face. Drake would then later confess to MTV that he's always had a crush on her and that he has always really loved her, but she always looks at him like a little brother. Number seven, Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber's Instagram is like his public persona. It's pretty unpredictable and it's sometimes humorous and as a whole, it's quite mysterious. So when Justin uploaded a picture of himself with a photo where you could see Rihanna, she would be seen rejecting him. And we were all left with one lingering question, why? The photo in question was taken in 2011 and it showed Justin and Rihanna hanging out outside the court side at a basketball game. The photo is a simple paparazzi shot of the pair, but in the photo you could see Justin showing his phone to Rihanna and Rihanna was just left laughing as she seemingly rejected him. With Justin being 16 at the time, Rihanna was only 23 years old and that didn't even stop Justin from shooting his shot. However, after being rejected, Justin decided to take control of his own narrative when it came to this rejection. And then he hilariously decided to post the photo of him showing Rihanna his phone and captioned it. Can I have your number please? Justin, nah. Rihanna. Now the photo has since been deleted, but that didn't stop us all from having a laugh at the random post. Hey my little peaches, are you like 
liking this video so far, so don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming at number six, we have Julianne Hogue. When Julianne was only 11 years old, she was definitely under Daniel Radcliffe's spell. When the dancer turned actress was cast as an extra in the 2001 Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone movie starring Daniel as the famous wizard, Julianne's character was also in Gryffindor. And she even stole the scarf on the set just to prove that she was in Gryffindor. However, before she left the set, they checked her bag and they took the scarf back. As the shooting progressed, Julianne fell hard for the series leading man and she would say, I was kind of in love, especially with Daniel Radcliffe. Julianne was so love struck that she even confessed to writing Daniel a love note and she even paired the letter with a Valentino beanie baby. However, she never heard back from Daniel, which must have been pretty awkward. Now, Julianne has admitted that she was now really embarrassed about her childhood crush because from time to time she still runs into him. She kind of just seems to turn around and walk away. The guest host, however, on Live with Kelly Wednesday would assure Julianne that everything happens for a reason and had Daniel actually written her back, she could have been in a long relationship with Daniel, but now she's stuck with Ryan Seacrest. Even though Ryan and Julianne split in 2013, she now seems to be dating Charlie Wilson, who is actually a hunk himself. And number five, Niall Horan. Back in 2017, Katy Perry would claim that the One Direction singer, Niall Horan, was always trying to flirt with her, but Katy was never interested in pursuing a relationship with Niall because of their nine year age gap, which is actually pretty funny considering Katy and Orlando have an eight year age gap. Katy, however, will one time call out Niall by saying, I see him around all the time. He's always trying to like get my number and like maybe flirt with me, but I'm like, I could babysit you. I'm like your mom. Despite this, Katy has admitted that she's incredibly fond of the Irish singer and said they will forever have a bond after she decided to vote to help Niall advance on the X Factor in the UK back in 2010. Katy has even gone on to say, Niall's amazing, I love him, I think we feel very connected in a way because I may have helped him to get to an X Factor, to join his group and find his success. After Katie called out Niall, however, he would respond to the rejection by saying, on the project, I just wanted to be your friend. I mean, she's talking like she's about 55 years older than me. She's not even that much older than me. So it's kind of hard to see if Katie rejected Niall or did Niall just reject Katie? And I'll let you decide and let us know in the comments below. And number four, Harry Styles. So in 2016, Lindsay Lohan would tell the son that she once turned down Harry Styles after he showed up at her hotel room unannounced. Lindsay would claim that she had no idea who he was, and to her, he was just another man in a suit. When Lindsay opened the door, she would say, well, you're very good looking, can I help you? And that was it, according to Lindsay. Styles then said that some mutual friends had sent him over to see her, but because he didn't use his last name, it didn't click for her who he was, and she would then let us all know that while this incident did happen at 2 a.m., she would go on to say, I'm going to bed, but it was nice to meet you. At that time, Lindsay had just come back from an AA meeting, and she felt like she didn't look good as she was wearing a big hotel robe, and she was watching some really cheesy movies. She would even note that you could totally hear the movie in the background. Lindsay's sister Allie would then figure out the next day that her sister's visitor was actually Harry Styles and she couldn't believe it and she asked her sister if she could have his number. Well Harry, maybe next time if you show up at someone's hotel room, maybe do it a little earlier and Better luck next time. And number three, Tiffany Haddish. It said that when Tiffany Haddish tried flirting with Leonardo DiCaprio, he thought she was joking. Tiffany would go on to tell Hollywood Reporter all about her failed attempt to hook up with the actor. When she ran into him at a party, Tiffany would then ask the actor if he was going to let her hit that. Leonardo hit back by saying, Tiffany, you're so funny. While Tiffany would state that she wasn't joking, she would tell Leo that she always wanted to do it with him as his character in What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Because because she felt like the performance deserved a real award and that she was the real award. Well, Leonardo definitely had a good laugh about the whole situation. He would start to go on about how he got into the role and how he worked with these kids. And while Tiffany just continued to listen to his story, she would finally say, all that's good. I just need to know when it's this gonna happen. When Tiffany would then read later, tell the story to Jimmy Kimmel, she would say that she didn't want her humor to distract her from the real romantic intentions by saying, I don't know if he thought I was playing, but I was dead serious. Too bad for Tiffany, it seems like Leo is still stuck in his college frat boy days. And he only seems to date girls under 25, so better luck next time, girl. Number two, Harry Jowsey. When Harry Jowsey sat down with E to go over his tips, tricks, and experience with DMing celebrities in a series called Down in the DMs, Harry would end up getting turned down by two beautiful women, and the whole thing was actually pretty funny. When Harry entered actor Haley Steinfeld's 
DMs. He would note that she didn't really like him at all because when he messaged her hi, she would just respond by saying no. Harry was so confused that he would even ask the actress what he did and how he even hurt her. Harry would then send photos of his gorgeous bulldog Bruce. As he wrote, I know you hate me, but Bruce definitely deserves a reply. To which Haley said, hate? No hate. And just like that, the two never spoke again. Harry would also find himself being shut down by Saweedy when the singer would leave his message on red. With the reality TV star sending the message multiple times, he would read the last message where he wrote, I know you watch this and I'm in love with you. Please reply. So in the end, if you got anything from Harry Jowsey's fail, it's if you intend on shooting Haley or Saweetie a message through Instagram. It may not be the best idea, but then again, you never know because one man's loss is another man's treasure, so shoot your shot and see what happens. And number one, Emma Watson. During the filming of the Harry Potter movie, Emma Watson developed a major crush on Tom Felton. Although she claims her feelings for her co-star fizzled out, Watson still admits that she was crazy about him during their younger years. But when she found out he didn't feel the same way about her, she was completely heartbroken. Emma would then even claim that after all these years that she was still crushed over his rejection. Emma would say between the ages of 10 and 12, I had a really terrible crush on Tom Felton. She revealed that we love a bad guy and he was a few years older and he had a skateboard and that just really did it. Tom used to do tricks on it. He was so cool. He totally knew I had a crush. And the thing is, he turned and go, oh, I see her in a younger sisterly way. And it just broke my heart. While Tom Felton stole all of our hearts with his stunning blue eyes, we definitely all felt his pain when Emma said she wasn't just friend zoned, she was put into the sister circle. So yikes. Well, that's it for this video, my little peaches. Until the next one, remember to stay juicy.